Hi, welcome to Yeti Snow MX. I'm Jamie, and today we're going to talk about the Yeti belt drive deflector and cover. So last year, pretty excited, got the Yetis out on the, on the snow, everyone's riding, and we started to see a couple failures on the belt drive deflector. And we appreciate everyone's patience last year and feedback as they phoned us and kind of said, hey, here's what I'm seeing. So we went back to the drawing board with our suppliers and our design guys and said, hey, what's going on here? And we learned that this was not made to our specifications. So what we'd done, is we thought, okay, a moment of opportunity. One, let's redesign this part to work better for next winter. And two, how do we look after customers already have the belt deflector out riding today? So thank you for your patience last winter. I know a lot of you, um, we had sent you out a free belt drive deflector. Throughout the entire winter, we sent these parts out no charge to look after our customers because here at Yeti Snow Max, that's very important. You're, you're our customers, very important. So a couple things, when we decided to redesign this, we went back and said, how can we make this the best part available? We know it's designed, we call it the deflector because it's designed to deflect, deflect the hits. So if you look on here, you know, any snow coming at it, anytime you hit something, it's got multiple angles on it to deflect. So the other thing we looked at is how can we lock the cover in? We had a few guys come back and say, hey, you know, I could get snow. Snow would go underneath the lip of the, of the clear cover. And many rides we were on, we'd have four, go for four rides, four different bikes, and we'd find that one kit had snow underneath it where the other ones didn't. All right, so what did we do to fix the issues that we had last year as a deflector? And not so much really any issues with the cover, but what do we do around this deflector? So, one thing as you can see on the bottom here, we have a lip. There's a lip here that locks the cover in. So that does two things. It stops snow intrusion from underneath the seal on the cover. So it locks the cover in. You can see right in here, this lip is really, whoop, put this down. The cover's really, really locked in there. And the other thing it does, if you do, if say you're crossing a road and you drop the bike right on the pavement, it also protects the, uh, the cover in case of that also. Secondly, we thought while we're redesigning, we made everything thicker. We've thickened the floor of the material, of the deflector. We've thickened the front edge. And we went on this very bottom surface and added an extra two millimeters of thickness right on here. And I can show you some other deflectors we have now. If you, uh, last week Kevin was out actually riding here. It's June right now. And he was going up the trail and he was casing out on logs. Just casing on a log with the deflector and the front suspension and going over top. And just like you would in the summer on your dirt bike, case them on the logs, drive over them. So we're very happy with the strength of this, no issues. Any questions, give us a call and thank you again.